Hey guys, I'm Aditya Thakur and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this video is going to be a quick tutorial on how you can import Python libraries when writing code in Visual Studio. I had been trying to figure this out for myself and I could not find any good tutorials on the internet. So I thought maybe I should make a video on this. So let's get started. To begin, I'll create a new folder by the name project. So I'll open my Visual Studio code and open this folder we just created inside the Visual Studio code. So go to file and open folder. So I saved it on my desktop. I'll open it from there. Once I have my project folder open, I'll create a main file. So I'll create a Python file. So it will be main.py. And uh, I'll use a simple uh, library for this example. It's a matplotlib. It's a plotting library in Python. So what I will do is uh, I have written a simple program uh, x and y coordinates and I'll plot and show this. So for this I need the matplot library but you'll notice that there is a, a yellow line warning line underneath it. So that means that uh, even if we have matplotlib inside uh, our system it's not uh, showing up for the visual studio code so therefore head over to your terminal and what we'll do is create a virtual environment so to create a virtual environment we'll go to the terminal and type in python dash m v e n v so this is for virtual environment and then we'll copy the path of the project folder so that is very simple you can copy it from the bar and paste it here and then you need to write venv so our virtual environment will be created in a folder called venv so it will create the virtual environment when you go back to your project folder you can see our virtual environment there so let's fix this issue. Now what we need to do is we need to download this matplot library inside our virtual environment. So open up the terminal again, but this time you'll notice the green VNV before that and your project um, location. So simply type in pip install matplotlib and this should install the matplotlib library inside your virtual environment. Once this is done, click on run and your graph should show up. So yeah, that's it for the video. I hope it helped you. If you have a better way, do not forget to comment down so that others can benefit from it. And thank you for watching.